GNS science seismologist John Ristow is with us this morning. John, Morena, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Can we say when they will stop? Um, unfortunately, no. We can't say when they will stop. Um, this is uh, sometimes these earthquake swarms, they can go on for quite a while, for for uh, days, weeks, even months. Um, so now we can't say at the moment when they will stop. Um, the number of larger earthquakes in this sequence do appear to be tapering off a little bit. We haven't had a magnitude four now since um, uh, uh, for about the last 24 hours. So, you know, I'm kind of hopeful that maybe it's starting to taper off, but we'll have to just wait and see what uh, what, what will happen. We just heard from the former mayor there that people are worried that this might be building to something. Can you say definitively it's not? Um, unfortunately, no. Again, we, we can't say definitively that it is not. Um, however, yes, the, the most likely scenario is that it is that you're going to have the swarm and that, it's, that it is going to kind of do what it's doing at the moment, where you're going to start having uh, the larger earthquakes will happen less frequently and then in general, over time, the earthquakes will happen less and less frequently until eventually tapers off and dies off back to where it was before. That's um, by far the most likely scenario. But no, we can't say for certain that um, that there won't be something bigger um, on the uh, horizon. All right. What has water got to do, that, do with this, the, um, the fluids that are contributing here? Um, in this case, uh, these earthquakes we suspect are likely not linked to any type of volcanic activity, that these are tectonic earthquakes. And so it's, it's most likely that there, that, uh, that, there aren't any, that there are not any fluids involved in these earthquakes. Oh, okay. So no magma, no fluid, just, just what plates? No. Just plates hitting each other, knocking each other. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, what you get in the center of the North Island in, you know, in this area, what we call the... the uh, the uh, Topa volcanic zone. This is what we call like a rift zone, where the crust is slowly spreading apart. You know, and you get these uh, these faults, uh, these very sh um, shallow faults in the crust, and that's where you know often these earthquakes happen. Right. So the crust is actually pulling apart <clears throat> as we yes, speak. Yeah. It, and due, that's a long term. Long term thing. Yes, that's yeah. Happening. I mean, this has been going on for millions of years, and it'll go on for millions of years more. Okay. All right, thanks for that. That is John Ristow with us, our GNS seismologist. It is 22 minutes after 7 o'clock.